Welcome to Majitoots. In today's video I'm going to show you how to speed up Canva audio for free. In fact, speeding up audio is not something that Canva offers right out of the box. However, we can easily get this done, so let's dive right into it. To speed up Canva audio, we actually need to make use of two external websites. The first one would be audiotrimmer.com and the second one will be audioextractor.net. P please have a look at the description of this video, I will leave the links there for you. Now in order to show you exactly how to speed up Canva audio, I have already created a little Canva project here. I just went with the simple slide and picture project here. However, it doesn't really matter because the method that I'm about to show you works for any kind of Canva project, no matter if you're just working with images or maybe you have created a Canva video project. That said, in my case here, I have just added a couple of pages to my project here and then I have added a random audio track from Canva's audio library that you can find here in the left sidebar. The track that I have chosen is When It Hits Ya, it's a hip hop track. I just simply drag and drop this track inside of my project here. And after you have imported that track, it will appear here in the lower left corner. In case you have created a video project, the audio track will appear a little bit differently, but here again, it doesn't really matter. Now let us quickly have a listen to our audio track in its original form. And then I will go on and show you how to speed up that audio track. To preview your project simply click here on the play button in the top right corner of the screen. That is our audio track. Now in order to speed up that audio track, as mentioned before, we have to make use of external websites because speeding up audio tracks is not something that Canva supports right now. I'm pretty sure they will support that in the future, but for the moment this is not yet the case. So what we're gonna do first here to speed up that Canva audio track is we first go and download our project. To do that simply click on download here in the top right corner of the screen. And then as far as the file type goes, you will actually have to download this as an mp4. Well, you might think mp4 that's actually a video format, so why download this in a video format if we just wanna speed up the audio? Well the, sim well, the reason for this is actually pretty simple, Canva doesn't let us download a simple audio track. So you can't really download your audio track independently from other footage. So the only thing we can do is actually download our project as an mp4 video. So make sure that mp4 video here is selected. And then click here on download. So after downloading that you will actually end up with a video file. But the thing is later on we are just simply going to extract the audio from that video file. That's actually much more simple than it sounds. The download might take a minute or so, but after your project is downloaded, please locate your video file on your computer and then head over to the audio-extractor.net website. And once that is done, select the audio format here. Now in most of the cases you would either want to choose mp3 or WAV. Um, the difference here is simply that mp3 is a compressed format whereas WAV is uncompressed and therefore WAV has much better quality. But on the other hand, WAV files are much bigger than mp3s. So depending on your needs here, simply select mp3 or WAV format. And once you have done that, click here on extract audio. Audio Extractor will then immediately extract the audio from that video file and all that is left for you to do then is to click here on download to download your audio track. Now the last step for us to take is to actually speed up that audio track and to do so please head over to the other website which is audiotrimmer.com slash audio dash speed dash changer slash again you can find that link in the description of this video so please don't worry and once you're on that website click here on choose file and then locate the audio file that we just downloaded and click on open. Once the audio track is uploaded, click here on the green play button to listen to your original audio track. A 
as you can clearly hear the audio track sounds exactly the same as it sounds on camera. Now to speed up that audio track you will have to make use of this fader here. Here on the right side you can say that it says 1x which means that at this moment it still has the original speed. Everything bigger than 1 will actually speed up the audio track. So I'm just going to put that to maybe let's say 1.4. And then again, I will click here on the green bar to have a listen to the audio track. And as you can clearly hear, the speed of our audio track is now much bigger. One cool thing about this tool here is that it actually uses time stretching, which means that even when you speed up the audio track, the pitch will still be the same, which is amazing because that's usually what you want. Because if that wouldn't be the case, then when you speed up your audio, it would sound completely different because the pitch would usually be higher. That said, make sure to adjust this setting here to your liking and once you are satisfied with the results, click here on change speed. Please keep in mind that the faster you will make your audio file, the worse the quality will get. So in my case, I put the speed to 1.4x and the audio still sounds great. However, if you make it too fast, you will lose a lot of audio quality. That said, to download your audio file then, simply click here on download. Once you have downloaded that file, go back to Canva. Then click here on Uploads in the left sidebar. Click on Upload Media, then locate your audio file on your computer and upload it to Canva. You will then find it here under Audio. I have already done that in my case. And now before I import that new audio track, I will actually delete the old one here. You can simply do that by clicking on it and then click here on the trash symbol in the top right corner of the screen. And I will then drag and drop the new audio track into my project. And as you can clearly hear, the speed of our audio track is now much faster. And that's it guys, this is how you speed up Canva audio completely for free. And that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I would be really grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. And if you do so, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I put out new video content. That's it, I wish all of you guys a great day and hopefully see you soon. Bye.